99.7 DJX, the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show podcast. Supplying every demand. On demand. Setting the bar. These are examples of what not to do. Maybe you heard this story or at least heard of this story. If you can... Uh, of the Suez Canal from the BBC. Now it's one of the world's most important shipping routes and it's blocked. A Mm -hmm. giant container ship ran aground in the Suez Canal after losing power. And at around 200,000 tons and over 400 metres long, the container, well, it's going to take some shifting. 50 ships a day normally pass through the canal, carrying 12% of the world's trade. So the pressure is really on to get her refloated. Yeah, so this ship, maybe you've seen, is just like blocking sideways the Suez Canal, which, you know, passes, uh, you, you know, to the Mediterranean Sea there. Um, uh, b- between what is it, Africa and um, well, uh, whatever. I'm I'm not a geographic uh, mastermind over Genius. here, right? <laughs> it's an important canal. We'll say that. So okay. here, here's the setting the bar part. If you can manage to make it through the day without running your ship aground, after trying to draw a wiener pick in your GPS, you're doing okay. I'm sorry. Back the truck up. So a ship. Was going all over the place, trying to, on like the radar screen, have a little wiener show up? Yes. Before running aground and blocking the entire Suez Canal, the crew from the ship named Evergreen decided to chart a route that drew a wiener, um, some a twig, some berries, and even an oh, enormous wow. butt in the Red Sea before oh, wow. becoming stuck. You can see it literally on its GPS tracking what it decided to do there in the Red Sea before it ran aground. <clears throat> That's insane. Like, did they just have some extra time, extra fuel on what? their hands and thought this sounds like a great idea? Did they not have a mission? So, you know, the Suez Canal is like O'Hare, or it's like a busy, busy um, a passageway. So there are a lot of ships that need clearance. So maybe there was a backup, and it's just wasting time until it's its turn to make its way through the canal. So during the its, its wait, it uh, drew uh, for the GPS, twig, berries, a butt, and um, then Holy cow. when it was its turn became lodged in the Suez Canal when uh, high winds, a dust storm, and it lost power and it turned it sideways. So, Did they think no one was going to notice? Well, I mean, here's the thing. We wouldn't have been talking about this had that ship not then gotten stuck in the Suez yeah. Canal. That's true. Yeah, so we'll tweet out its, uh, its voyage there so you can see at Ben and Kelly show exactly what we're talking about. But yeah, if you can manage... How long did it take? Uh, I think it's currently still stuck. Okay, but like, how long did there was the journey to draw all of that on the radar? Oh, I don't know. I mean, oh, you know, I, I ships know don't how move. Long that took ships don't move very fast, and ships they of that don't. size definitely don't. So that probably oh, wow. took uh, more than just a couple minutes to to <laughs> sketch in the uh, Red Sea there. So it does look like an etch a sketch. Yeah, a little it does, bit. Right. So if you can manage to make it through the day without, you know, running your ship aground right after trying to draw a wiener pick and butt in your GPS, you're doing okay. Oh, my God. But hats off to that captain. (laughs) That's setting the bar on 99.7 DJX.